G'day and welcome back to Nuclearis, the episode two with the RNG and failures all activated, chemical module, experimental mode also in, doing something a little different with this playthrough as we've got all of our control rods set at complete zero, so they're really all the way out of the core as we can see there, and they're not being used except for when we're shutting down. We're only using the boric acid concentration to actually get a hold of this fuel and its reactivity and temperature rise. So we've got still a little bit higher still from last episode. So that's going to be my first job for today. Oh, as it just drops down nicely. Okay, I'll have to fix this, that's for sure. Today's ultimate goal is to earn 182,000 royalty points. To get two circulation pumps on B1 and B2, you're thinking what I am thinking, and as well as the steam generator for 53, and another generator turbine. So all four of those items will be fitting into loop two to complete it all the way off. So by that time, we'll have to open some valves, fill it all up, get it all ready for the next episode for when we need to swap it over. For maintenance and all that so that's the ultimate goal for today is to get loop 2 completely up and running ready and waiting for episode 3 for when we need to shut down loop 3 to bring on that upgraded loop 2 so i want to show you how it gets delivered how it gets installed what you need to do to get it ready and all that sorts of stuff in this episode so there might be a little bit of a jump cut for the fact that i'm gonna have to speed this time up quite a bit to try and earn some of that money so i might as well start it up now and i'm going to get this to one because we're all in times three speed uh this panel always does end up starting in the off position at the start of a new resave uh, uh, game just to let you know so let's go ahead and turn that off now let's see what we got on that reactivity should be really close to 10 since we are at 360 now, so I might put just a little bit more in there. 10.1, 10.04. Yep, there we go. That should be good. Zero. How did we go on that? 9.98. I am rather happy with that because that means we'll drop down in temperature. Just probably by just a few degrees as that's just like 0.02 shy. From, pay, from being exactly on 10, which it would be neutrally stable in temp and reactivity. We've got a fantastic factor on that efficiency we're transferring over from the reactor, producing more than enough actual energy out to the grid, which is really nice that we've got that going. Producing 8,000, we've only got an excess of like 1,400. So eventually we will have to start raising this up, which I will show you as well. So everything I'll get done. AO should be hopefully getting back with the maintenance report any second now, almost. As at the end of last episode, we got him to go out and do that maintenance analysis. And we did get all those extra objectives. Yes, we do. We just need to make that 90% service compliance out to the grid so that's this one here since we are in normal if we go over this service compliance by like 10 percent or something we'll start getting like massively negative points and all that sorts of stuff so like we'll get majorly penalized for going over 10 percent of that service compliance temperature on the condenser is actually going rather well at the moment being at 10. oh good now, Excellent. You can check it from your tablet. Yes, thank you. And thank you to those to actually mention that the heaters and the pressurizer is all actually kept nice and stable using that thermostat. And now I don't really have to touch that ever again. I'll get it to about where it needs to stop at and I'll just turn it on to low so it's not trying to work so hard to bring the pressure up over a longer period of time. In about an hour and a half, it's going to be pretty high peak in their demand of power. So around two o'clock in the afternoon and then eight o'clock at night in game is when the highest peaks of demand the city would be asking for. So what do we got here? That's the maintenance report. How did we go on it all? 2% wear on the core, not bad, not bad. Two, two and one on the cooling circuit. Normally the cooling circuit is the first 
to go. So I'm rather happy that that's lower than the other two. So it means we'll have to shut down completely to actually do all these sorts of repairs. And that's going to work out really well for when we get that audit. Probably in like episode four or something, I'm thinking now. I don't know. No stuck valves. Integrity on the resistors, 100%. That's what I like to see. We'll have to get a new power transformer at the same time when we install loop two and get that up and running. So that'll have to be purchased pretty fast at the start of episode three, I think, just so we can manage how much more output in power our transformers can actually handle so they don't get damaged over time. Dropping in that a little bit. So three times speed. I'll see you very shortly as this doesn't look like it's doing much at the moment. All right, here we go. We're starting to get a little bit low in power, but I think we should be somewhat okay. I think I might just want to start getting it powered up just a little bit, just to try and make sure I don't miss out on any of my service compliance. So I'll try and bring up a little bit and bring that power up just a smidge. So that should start kicking up pretty soon when that starts stabling out a bit. So almost about now that should start bringing up just about. Yeah, there we go. So we got 1121, it's already jumped up. Excellent. So that's gonna reduce our overall reactivity. So I'm gonna have to filter some of that extra boric acid since we are taking some of that out. So let's just drop it down to five. Rate it for it to raise up just a little bit and then we'll turn that off there. How did we go on that? 10.17. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that just in case we need to turn up the power output by even more. But 1245 excess energy on top of what our internal facility is using that's shown on this panel here. So that's just a nice little info. That's why there's a, a difference in what you're producing to what's being excessively burnt off in your resistors. It's because the rest of it is over here being used by all of these panels, the lights, the pumps, and the all the stuff in this facility that's going on at the moment. So caught up to that, 1478. How stable are we on this? Just above 1800. Much nicer, much nicer. That's gonna ultimately raise this, but not by a little, but not by a lot, it looks like. So that's still safe. Run on over here. Oh, hello, Ao. You just chilling there. How about we um, actually let's get him to get his overpowered mode skin that I got from completing the uninterrupted power supply scenario. That's the one. So here we go. We need to get this ion cleaning pump on. But first of all, let's go ahead and get it set up. So let's turn that closed. Go up here. Let's go and open that sodium hydroxide tank only. Let's see if we can get an in-depth number on that. 99.78 is what we're starting with. So let's turn the ion cleaning pump on. And let's just turn it to 50 to start with. We're in like three times speed. So hopefully this should have some sort of an effect. Let's go to 100. Sounds like something different is kicking in or at least that might be just this pump kicking on 99.78 yeah doesn't seem like it's working because it obviously went to 100% when I reloaded the save as this is like a day or two after my um, last release so I might as well just turn that off that's not really doing too much that's all right we'll run back upstairs again Oh, I didn't actually send AO home, so send a charger. Because we're in three times speed. All right, being so close to actually 2400 hours or midnight, specifically the time where I may be or may get this do not use emergency services objective. And emergency services counts as my resistor. So as we click over from the 2400 hours to zero o'clock, I want my resistors to be off so I don't instantly fail 
that objective. So five minutes away. How are we going on that? We are producing quite a bit extra, so I don't want to do it for too long. So I'll turn them off now, Morning. just Danger in case. Alarm. Danger alarm for what? Nothing. He didn't tell me nothing. All right, so here we go. Do not use emergency services for four hours. Okay, there it is. I actually got it. So I need to crank this up and manage my, my output of power through the actual um, turbine bypass valve. So this is going to be a lot harder for me because I need to meet 5,000 kilowatts on this without using any of my resistors so this is going to be probably a little bit longer of an episode as i need to balance this out and it's going to be interesting i'm only about eighty thousand royalty points off it oh this can be uh bad and i'm already overproducing. good it's dropping down six thousand so let's drop this to about 20 and start that from or slow that dropping so fast Hopefully it's not going to lower any further. They're asking for 5,000. I'm producing 5.5 minus nearly 9,000 right there. So I need to bring this up just by a little bit. Probably 24 maybe. Hopefully that should have an immediate effect. Oh, no, sorry. I need to go the other way. So I need to go about 16 for the other way. So it should rise back up to give me more power as I need to balance this out now. So it should come up. There we go. Good, good, good. Come on. Up you come. Up, 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 up. And because we're bypassing some of the steam around the turbine, it's going to make this a lot hotter. So I'm going to need to crank this up as well by an extra 50% at least to start with. Uh, 63, 18. So let me just double check that that is... Yeah, do not use emergency services. I did get it. Oh, man. What are the chances at least I don't have to deal with it for long it's just till 0500 hours and that's probably one of the lowest peaks of the day so I need to open this up a little bit more uh, let's go to 18 52 I need to lower the delivering below the demand to lower this number and raise the delivering above the demand to raise this number all right so hopefully I said that right. 111. Oh, it's like one minute away. That was really sucky. It's all right. We did, oh, he clicked in just in the nick of time. What are the chances? So we're going like that. I need to go 17 maybe. 57, 5800. So we need to produce about... 6200 kilowatts to get this on point so 6200 so i need to go maybe one more click one more click might do 6182 98.3 i'm actually kind of happy right there because we only need to make 90 percent of that service compliance maximum we could do the 81%, but I want to get that, and I want to get that, and I want to get do not use emergency services for four hours, so... Yeah, I'm sure you're really interested to see how this all works, and it's really nice with this um, new Synchroscope compensator system and update. It's um, really, really effectively fast on how everything goes. Yeah, sure, three times speed doesn't go as fast as what it used to, but... It is a lot more stable overall. And I've just found that once it drops below 150, I don't want it to. I turn the thermostat off, I turn it back on again, and it starts coming back up to like 172 or so. Automatically, without me having to touch it. Yeah, 171, hey, I was close enough. 6182, 52. It's nearly close to 2 o'clock in the morning. 2 to 2 to 2 to 2, 2. Sorry about that. Uh... 15 because I want to up my power because the city's going to start demanding just a little bit more in the next 14 minutes so that should be okay reactivity is about 350 I wouldn't mind actually kind of raising the reactivity by just a little bit so I'll just crank that on for a hot second 
See if that has an effect. Or not. Oh, no. No, no, no. I'm probably sure I left those valves closed, though, in the pump room. That's why it's not working. Silly me. I'm pretty sure I did leave them closed. That's why it's not raising anything. Yep, they are closed. So let's open those back up. Open and open. And then this needs to be closed back again. All right. Excellent. So that's now back and reset. I completely forgot about that one in the pump room that I had that all set up. So just to test it out. But it is still broken in trying to raise that ion cleaning ex exchange capacity number. Uh, just... Close your game down, reload the save, and then this ion exchange will be much higher. But it, it still doesn't seem to clean out. I need to set that to 5. And then now that should start increasing our reactivity. Yes, good. Let's turn that back off again. We are producing practically almost 100% smack on. That's really good. And I might click this down by 1 to get ready for the next hour. Finally, up to 0500 hours to finish off the do not use emergency services for four hours. That finishes at 0500, not 0400 like I thought previous hour, but we've just been keeping up with that as you can see. Finished that off, that's fantastic. We just got yeah, like 10,000, nice and easy. That's actually more than enough for us to buy absolutely everything we need. But before I do that, I'll get my resistors back on. And I'll dump all of these back down so any steam we're producing is going through our turbine to overproduce a bit of extra power that we can just burn off back in our resistors once more. Just so that balances all back out and we don't go over 100 and like, sorry, we don't go over an extra 10%. So what I might do is I might just keep that back up one second. Let's bring that up to 15. Let's turn our resistor off. Yes, no, that's fine. Leave it. I know it's weird how that alarm flashes. I know I have no resistor bank because I turned it off. So let's drop that down because I don't want to overproduce by so much. That is a lot. That is rather, rather a lot. So let's bring this back down to five. So it starts leveling out just a bit. 102, there we go. Turn that back on again. And then I'll drop that all back down again. So that's just lowered my service compliance just a little bit that's good so we're at least above 90 percent and that should climb up a little bit that's good so now we're back on track fantastic absolutely awesome with that so we completed that objective got a little extra bit of money and all that sorts of stuff it's not as much as i thought it was but i am in normal so it is what it is so we have 182,000 royalty points so let's get one pump on b1 let's pump let's get buy another one on b2 let's get a generator in o2 and a new turbine just like so we just had enough for all of that to be purchased and the way it all works is you go into logistics and deliveries and to sum this up what it says any orders placed before 1200, so midday, will be started to be packed and finished packing to be shipped out to you by 1500, will then get delivered to you at 1800 on that day. Then it takes time for them to be automatically installed and all that sorts of time. Turbines take about six to eight hours. Pumps take from between four to six hours themselves. If you place any orders after midday, you will have to wait for the day after for that order to actually be packed and shipped to you. Keep that in mind. So we're just going to wait for that right now. I have to wait till pretty much 2 a.m. tomorrow before any of that loot is technically installed and ready and waiting for me to actually continue on. Service compliance is going well with our maintenance report that comes back. Good timing. You can check it from your tablet. Got a solid 98% yesterday. We're going on 99 so far today. That is rather nice. So let's um scroll to the top and start again. We got 16 on our core. 
21, 21, and 20 on our cooling circuit. That's so good. Zero wear freight pumps. We haven't really been using them. Vaporators at 100. Condensers, fine. Hazard suits, haven't used. Generator turbines at 100. Integrity is at 99. Not too bad. Really nice. Nothing stuck or damaged in terms of valves. Pressure heaters at 90-ish. 10% on our resistors, yeah, and 19% wear on our transformer, which is going to be our next thing to get, which is a 350,000 royalty points, which is absolutely insane, but it allows us to double up for the fact that I think the upgrade on the power transformer is rather expensive, yeah, 640,000 or 750,000. So either way, it is cheaper to just go ahead and buy another one in O2, and then you'll have to go and connect that all up, but that'll be in a future episode for sure. There we go, so it has just gotten to 12 o'clock. That's just after I was talking, funny enough. And all of that stuff has started packing. Oh, okay, so without the thermostat on, that pressure goes all the way up to 186. Good to know. Let's not do that again. Even with that thing, I still stuff it up. Good job, Sharpie. Good job. There we go. The order has been changed to pack. So it's 1,500 hours. It's now finished packing, and it is on its way to us now. It takes about three hours for it to get here. And then it automatically will install all by itself. No input from you whatsoever. There we go. It's now 1800 hours. So all of that stuff has been delivered. And the way you check to see how long it's got to be installed, just go over to it. So we've got six hours on both of those pumps to be installed. So that's whatever it is. As well as that new steam generator. That'll take eight hours as well as the generating turbine. So it's about... Two o'clock in the morning. Not going to bird on all our completed objectives. As many as we possibly can. It's always a good thing. All right, we're getting towards the time where people would definitely use less demand. So I'm going to start reducing some of this power to at least get it below to 49 to start with. And then I'm going to start lowering this to about 60-ish, probably need a bit more. That's going to overall increase our reactivity by a lot, yep. So let's go ahead and filter some more boron, uh, boric acid into the reactor, just like that, nice and easy. We're in three times speed, so that might kick in a bit fast. There we go, that should be okay for now. Let's just have a look. 10 point, oh, 10 even. Somewhat pretty happy with that. I might want to put just a little bit more in it, but I'll concentrate on this very quick. That's coming back up again. That's good. And we are at 49%. So that was actually rather, rather very fast to get that done, to be honest. That was really easy. And we're at 10, 10.01. It might be good to just put just a little bit of that boric acid in for like a couple seconds. Where are we? Zero. There we go. So it might have just flicked down there. 9.9. .9. Yeah. And we're at about 370 on the temperature. Let's just go ahead and flick the thermostat off and back on again. Because I definitely want that above 150 bars. There we go. So it'll stick there. So it might even be good to get this to 45 even like we were to begin with almost. And then I'll bring this down... 57. I'll bring it down by 3 to start off with and see how that goes. Just so it doesn't drop too fast. Yeah, that should be nice. Excellent. And that's how you pretty much lower the output in power. By lowering the number, fighting it less and less. We can even lower that a little bit more. 56. There we go, start lowering the output power even more so. Down by at least an extra thousand kilowatts, so that's really nice. So we've got nowhere near overcapacitizing our resistors, and we're at 
Hmm, I might want to neutralize just a little bit of that and then get to another little jump skip, I think. Here we go with another midday. Oh, another new level as well. Fantastic. Service compliance. Extra day has been added to the safety first as always. We want that. What sort of things did we get? So, let's have a look. What did we get? Generate power without interruptions for seven hours. And we get 15,200 points for each hour over the seven hours. So that's really, really nice actually. It's a lot better than that last... Do not use emergency services one that we did get. And we did get lots of money. So now we've got 461,000 royalty points, which I am definitely going to buy an extra power transformer ready and waiting for the next episode for sure. But first of all, we're just waiting two more hours for this last loop two to get installed and then we can continue on. So... I'll see you when we get to that point very shortly. I'm sure of it. Here we go. Wait for it. And installed. I was waiting for it. There it is. Fantastic. Yes, we know we have low volume in generator 2. Because it was just installed. So, first of all. The pumps have been installed, all that sorts of stuff, except one problem, oil valves are closed. So go ahead and just open up all of those. So B1, B2, you thinking what I am thinking? I think I am B1, are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I love that show back in the day, 90s kid right here. B4, B5, and B6. It's a big family of bananas. There we go, they're all open, nice and easy, fantastic, cool, 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 cool. We can go in here and see if we can start upgrading it. So that's the condenser cooling circuit. We want core cooling circuit B. It's actually, yeah, it is B1 and B2 we're looking for. So the number here, B as in loop 2. And this is the second pump where the other one right here is loop 2, first pump. So these are the ones you want to upgrade. And how much we got? 142k, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that should be good, uh, we got not enough for that, that's for sure, and 56,000 for that one, wowzers, 1, 2, 3, the reason why it's allowing me to do it is because it's not on, so that's, that's how I know that this is the correct pump as well, if I try to do it on one that's on, It'll just be like that, and it won't allow you to do anything with it. So I'll just do it on all three of them, same thing. So we have added it to the recent pumps. So we go to the Steam Gen, and loop 2B. Yep, that's the one we want. We want this. So 72,000, we should have enough. There's one on that, and we should be able to get... No, just not enough on the power increase. So we need... 95,000 for that, but that's all right. We'll be able to get that before the end of the episode. Pretty easy, I think, if not now. 61. No, we're about 25,000 off. So what we need to do now, all the valves are now open. That's really good. We can start using some of the water available in our condenser to fill this up to about 3250 or where we want to start it. So we'll turn that pump on and let's set it to about 50 just to start with and let that prime up. We're in three times speed, so it's going to come up a lot faster. Let's slow the time down, and I'm going to crank this to 25, like that, so it powers down a little slightly. We'll just let that go in the background as the pump's priming down now. There we go. So we want to stop this, or turn pump 2 off, when it gets to around about 2500-ish, and it should be able to prime down to stop around 3200 liters around that perfect value you really want so i'll just wait there for a second it's drawing out lots of liquid from this as you can see but we can just top that up afterwards nice and easy 2152 2200 how's all this going reactivity is a little low pressures are pretty good producing a little bit more than what they need that is absolutely perfectly fine by me 2500 there it is i'll turn that pump off we can come back to it in a second you may notice that it also says a different number here to what it says here because we have two pumps it's taking the value and the average of both of those pumps available 
even though loop two's one isn't on. So that's how it's worked. And you can just individually control them through this little panel here. So I'm gonna do that now. Crank that up to 65 and then come on over here. And then I'm gonna crank this up to 72 maybe. Now nah, we'll start it at 70. So it'll come up slowly and burn off some of that, boil off some of that steam a little faster. There we go, nicely. Cool, 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 cool. Let's just go and flick our thermostat on, off, 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 on, that's good. And what did our steam gen stop at? What have we got? 2877, so we'll just turn that back on again. Just for a little bit more. Just a little bit. And we might even turn that down to 10. So it only puts 10 liters in there a second. And it won't take too long to power down because we're at 3000 there, that should be good. Yeah, that's dropping still because we're still pulling stuff in it. So let's top that up by a little bit, which is actually going to help our temperature in our condenser by a little bit. So you don't want to put too much in because it'll drop this down by a lot and actually affect your steam generators and all that stuff down the line. Let's turn that one off because that's practically perfect as it is. That might be a little bit over, but that's absolutely fine. 2151. How's that going? Starting to fill up ish. Priming up. That's all right. We'll just let that go for a bit more. Reactivity has dropped severely. So let's go and fix that. Turn that on. Have a look at that. Might want to turn this up to like 10, I think. Get it going a little faster. And it won't bring it up. Why does it do that? So let's turn it off. Wait a second. And then turn it back on again. Having a few things with that pressurizer. There we go. It should be automatically. I've been told that it does it itself. Um, but I haven't really found it to do that. Seven. Oh, I'm putting the feed water circuit on. That's why. I'm silly. I'm silly. So let's go ahead and just start releasing some of that out just a little bit. Just so we have room to put boric acid in. But at least that's now topped off, I guess. Yeah, the pump's still priming down, so... Bring that down a bit. That's probably why our um, reactivity lowered a little bit. All right, that should be good just there. What's our reactivity at now? Really up. Really, really up. Really up. Condenser's now topped off. Good. Excellent. Excellent. That's good. Oh, things kind of went haywire there for a sec as I was doing that, but that's all done now. That's now finally lowering eventually. Hopefully. Unless it's overloading it. No, it is dumping some in. That's good. Our loot 2 is all upgraded and set to go. Except for one individual item. And that is upgrading our extra generator turbine right here for 95,000. But you know how to do that. And I'll just wait for that to get money. There we go, just balanced everything out. Everything's all nicely topped up by using some of that condenser. That's all topped off now. Unfortunately, we've run out of time for this one, but in the next one, we'll get that second loop up and running while we shut down that previous one. So once again, we'll leave you with a maintenance analysis that AO can get done over till the next episode. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good jazz, and stay sharp till next time as always. So yeah.